Philippines has been arrested and charged with the double murder of a mother and her son following a dispute over noise. There's been outrage on social media since video emerged of the killing, showing the plainclothes policeman, accompanied by his young daughter, shooting the pair at point-blank range. Howard Johnson, our correspondent, is in Manila. Um, Howard, it sounds on the face of it a very shocking case. What more do we know of the details of what happened? Yeah, the video is too shocking to show, Ben, but I've seen it this morning, and in this video you see this argument with a neighbour of this police officer. There had been a dispute over a noisy firework that's used around this time of year in the Philippines to celebrate the Christmas holidays, and the argument uh, grew quite heated. There was a lot of back-talking from the neighbours, and then suddenly the police corporal pulled out his uh, gun and shot them at point blank. Uh, the, the daughter was watching at the same time, then the police officer walked off uh, seemingly unfazed by what had happened. Now this has caused a, a real uh, outrage on social media, as you said in the introduction early this morning, this hashtag stop the killings PH, which is used by activists here to look at the wider impunity of police officers in the Philippines that they say has grown up from this drug war in the Philippines, this punitive policy of the government of Rodrigo Duterte in which we've seen at least 8,000 people killed according to the police. Human rights groups say that number could be more than 20 7,000 and that's uh, created this uh, situation where perhaps police feel emboldened to uh, shoot first and ask questions later. That's what uh, activists say. The government say this is an isolated case. This has nothing to do with impunity in the country and they say that this uh, policeman will face the full force of the law. And uh, with that in mind, Howard, what, what are the next steps? What happens from here? Well, I think what happens next is he will obviously be prosecuted. It seems like uh, they're going to push ahead with that case. And let's just look at this from the wider perspective. The last time we saw a furore like this was when 17-year-old Kian De Los Santos was also caught on video being dragged by police officers, and he was eventually killed down an alleyway. It caused a massive stink here in the Philippines. And what's interesting here is this is another case where...